Do you think it is realistic that Ukrainian soldiers can learn to operate the tank in a few weeks? Realistically speaking it takes a few days. The Ukrainians already have similar systems, like the ZSU-23 Forshilka and the 2K-22 Tunguska. They have well-trained people, they just someone to show them where the switches are. Translating from German to Ukrainian and getting enough ammo are the most difficult part. Here is what a soldier who operated such an armored device says, I was the gunner and later the commander of this tank back in the 2000s. We shot two weeks at the East Sea in Putlos and Tedendorf. In Putlos we shot on old tanks in 1.5 km distance. But the real fun was Tedendorf, when we shot on flying targets. One tank shot about 10.000 rounds in one week. We had four. It was a brutal experience the accuracy of this beast is beyond your imagination. The computer calculated every shot and showed us the hit posability, no matter what angle it never dropped below the 94%. Every shot was in a range below 12 meters radius, which is a direct hit. When we shoot on flying targets, a plane come with a long wire and on the end of this wire was maybe 2 meters large sack. That was our target, and some of us was so good that we figured out how we must shoot to cut the wire. That was fun. Units of Germany's Gepard air defense system have arrived in Ukraine the first batch included three units. The Gepard is designed for close air defense of ground troops. It is armed with 235mm autocannons. The maximum range of targets is up to 4 km. Height to engage targets up to 3 km. It is equipped with two air target detection radars with a range of up to 15 km. It was previously reported that the delivery of the first 15 combat vehicles is scheduled for the end of July.